What's up, G.I. Joe fans? We are back. Welcome to the MIB Master Toy Museum. I'll be your curator today. Guys, got another fun one for you. Uh, another one of my uh, favorites from this particular year. Um, this is from 2001. And this is a beautiful, beautiful G.I. Joe. Uh, loaded, absolutely loaded with accessories, weapons, etc. You know. So we, for your viewing pleasure, uh, we, we would like to introduce this G.I. Joe to you. All the way from 2001, we have the G.I. Joe, the D-Day collection, Omaha Beach Army Infantry. Um, a super cool figure. Let's, let's bring this guy down. Let's get him better acquainted with you guys. Uh, this is a, a super cool G.I. Joe. Um, all the way from 2001. I purchased this from Toys R Us. And to show you that he's still minty, fresh, fresh, and factory sealed. Look at the plastic that is still covering this beautiful weapon. Not to mention all of the aggravating <laughs> rubber bands. Guys, you know how I feel about those rubber bands. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful figure. Like I said, loaded, absolutely loaded with accessories. Trenching tool there up here. He has the, uh, his uh, canteen, um, lots of pouches around the belt area. Um, this is a removable clip, I believe. Once again, another, this really cool head sculpt. I love this head. It's very clean, um, well-constructed head sculpt. Um, beautifully done. This helmet is absolutely, positively gorgeous. Now, you're looking at the insignia on there. Um, it has a, a lot of meaning. Um, as a matter of fact, Hasbro had some fun with this figure. There's two other different logos that you could purchase in this figure set. So another one of another Omaha Beach Army Infantry might have a different logo on his helmet. And there were three different logos. So for anybody that was a completist, that would drive you crazy. So you have to go get the same figure, but you're trying to look and find the same figure just with a different helmet logo on his helmet. Which turned these figures into instant chase figures for G.I. Joe collectors. Um, I fo uh, followed this, this and tracked this figure through my G.I. Joe collectors club. Uh, newsletter so I was well aware of this figure um, he was very anticipated there's his gas mask so he's very well anticipated and we're looking at this gun it's got the tripod connected to it uh, this G.I. Joe came layered up um, you, you see his jacket here and the jacket I can turn it a little bit for you has the logo, the insignia from the helmet on the side of his jacket. He's got the shirt, brown pants. I, th I thought that was really cool. Boots, molded boots. Really cool. Buttons, everything. Um, it was the little details, a little attention to details on this G.I. Joe figure that really made him so awesome. Uh, but the D-Day collection um, set was beautiful anyway. Um, beautifully done. Let's move this guy in a little bit. I'll put him up here for you. So you can get a, a better shot of him. Guys, if you're just joining us, welcome to the MIB Master Toy Museum. Um, That's what we do. We're, we're just hanging out 
in our, our museum today. We're doing another G.I. Joe uh, review for our G.I. Joe subscribers and fans and enthusiasts from around the world. Uh, we did not forget about you guys. So we're hanging out in our G.I. Joe section of our collection ro uh, room here in the museum. And uh, we're just talking G.I. Joe. This figure had the iconic gung-ho grip hands. This was a 2001. Guys, what do you think of our G.I. Joe Omaha, Omaha Beach Army Infantry figure? Uh, are you looking for this guy? Do you have this guy? Uh, so, like I said earlier, super cool figure. Um, they were very well made. Price point wise, I think I paid I paid twenty nine ninety nine for this figure. Uh, he was not cheap back in two thousand and one, and has maintained his uh, his collectability and his price tag. But you know, I wouldn't go any higher than sixty or seventy dollars. Um, my personal, you know, view on it. But you know, you can find this figure. I I'll, I'll, will always say. Coswell Collectibles. Check Coswell Collectibles. They are an amazing toy website that has an extensive, an extensive G.I. Joe collection. And they're constantly getting new G.I. Joes in. It seems like on a weekly basis. So I would always say check them first. And then uh, eBay. Um, I would just say watch the uh, the bidding wars on eBay. There's more plastic. See, it's beautiful rifles uh wrapped there let's turn this uh box around now here's the what i'm talking about I'll give you two shots here of our omaha beach army infantry gi joe figure and here he is in all of his equipment here are the the three insignias that you can find on the figure's helmet so i knew a lot of collectors that were trying to collect all three of these insignias with the figures with the insignias on the helmet so uh, that can get expensive and crazy nerve-wracking as well <laughs> so we, we only have one um, I might look for another one uh, just to add another uh, uh, figure to our our museum collection but uh, we're, we're happy with the one we have and here's a blown out look at the back of the box let's bring this box down for you Just a ton of information on the Omaha Beach Army Infantry G.I. Joe. And you can see this dates all the way back to 1944 uh, for this, this soldier. The big red one. The artwork is absolutely, positively gorgeous. Um, beautifully done. Let's get you a year. 2001 just a a beautiful beautiful figure um, I definitely like I said I would recommend having this in your collection so you collect all three divisions so that's what it was you had three divisions of the Omaha Beach Army Infantry and you could tell you could um, differentiate them by the insignia on their helmet they had the big red one. Um, I want to say it's the yin and yang, and I don't know what this one uh, represents. So I'm sure we could find out, though. And on this side of the box, you had your equipment list. My super articulated G.I. Joe figure. And look at all of the, the goodies that you got with this figure. And here's the, some more uh, D-Day collection, the Point Du Hawk Army Ranger. I believe we did a video on him. Royal Marine Commando. I believe we did one on him. And Ernie Powell. We have not done one on him yet. But we, we're getting around to it. If you guys want to see that. You want us to speed the process up. Then by all means. Send in a, uh, a comment. And we would love to hear. What you have to say. About this beautiful figure. Let's get you some more close ups of this figure. People ask me. Why, why do you like the close up so much? 
um, we want you because it's an MIB figure it's mint in box we want you to get or we want to get you as close as we can with this figure Uh, this is our version for you taking him out the box. Um, this is another version of that to get you as close um, with every aspect or detail of the weapons, the accessories, the figure itself, the clothing, you name it. All this, uh, you know, our close up shots, uh, and we've gotten rave reviews about our close up shots of our figures uh, because people want to see these figures they want to they want to get close you know we can give you a zoom out shot and we can talk about this figure all day from this angle right here um, but it would to me just it serves no purpose I like to get you up close with the figure like I said I love this helmet the, this is the, the old pot belly helmets that were worn back in the 1940s and what sets it off is this insignia, this division insignia on his helmet um, just a beautiful um, beautiful figure if I was a completist I would try to go off out and find all of those uh, Exignias, the vision exignias for on their helmets, but you know, that's when you know you have to understand at what point do you say, My budget is my budget, and this is how much I, I, I spend a month, this is how much I'm going to spend a month, and I'm not going to go over that limit for anything or anyone. And that's why as collectors, we have to kind of catch ourselves. And it's real easy to fall into, you know, wanting to pay more. Uh, you see, they, they, they got tons of stuff coming out all the time. And back in 2001, um, there were just a ton of G.I. Joes released for this 2001 uh, year that this particular figure came out. Uh, I would like to think, I believe we have all of them here in our museum. Uh, I spent a lot of time, a lot of money and resources in building my collection so I don't have to work as hard today in locating these figures because I have 98.5 percent of, of these figures are in our museum collection already so we're happy about that and all on display for your viewing pleasure so with that being said, guys, you know the routine. Thanks for hanging out with us. We got more fun on the way. God bless. And keep collecting.